The state of Texas now requires seat belts on any new buses a school district buys. It's a pricey change, and the state is not providing any extra funding for it. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell found that is causing local school districts to ask taxpayers to foot the bill. When it comes to busing kids to and from school, everybody agrees it's a seat belt makes it a little safer. The problem is funding. So Lake Travis ISD is asking taxpayers to approve $1.3 million as part of a much larger bond package this November. The district plans to not only meet the requirement of having seat belts on any new school buses they buy, they also want to install seat belts on all of their older buses still in use. Nobody wants to choose which kiddo gets a seat belt and which not. So we're we're gonna err on the side of caution, go above and beyond what the law requires. Adding seat belts can cost districts anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars per bus. I would make a plea that the legislature pay for that. We would appreciate the funding, but uh, in the meantime, we're going to have to provide that funding ourselves. Senator Sylvia Garcia, who wrote the law, argues the state did offer to pay for seatbelts for districts that qualified back in 2007, but not many applied. The districts didn't use it, uh, so this time we decided that it would be best to just leave it up to the local school districts to put, put it in their budget. Garcia says she doesn't feel the law will have too big of an impact. They may need to just buy one less bus. But for districts like Lake Travis, it's not as simple of a choice. We have about 40 out of 80 buses that need to be replaced. So we're going to have to buy some uh, one way or the other. Installing seat belts on 40 new buses would cost around a quarter of a million dollars. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Both AISD and Leander ISD are asking for voters to fund installing seat belts in buses as well. Leander ISD's bond package includes $10.2 million for adding new buses with seat belts, and AISD is asking for $18.4 million. This new law requiring seat belts took effect on September 1st. A 2015 KXAN investigation found little progress made when it came to protecting students on school buses. After $10 million was approved in 2009 to pay for seatbelts, we found that was because not many districts applied for the program. You can watch our full investigation at KXAN.com.